Today I'm going to read a quote from the I Ching and relate it to quantum physics. Here goes. This is from hexagram 39, uh, Qian, or obstruction. We become obstructed if we fail to do the right thing for its own sake, as when we do things to have a desired effect on our situation. When we see the obstructing attitude and change it, the obstruction melts away. It furthers one to see the great man. Chief among obstructing attitudes is the tendency to regard other people or situations as hopeless or a given situation as dangerous, hence requiring vigorous action. Such, such exaggerated perceptions develop when we dwell on others' mistakes and injustices. So this is just the beginning of this hexagram in A Guide to the I Ching by Carol Anthony. Um, kind of cross-pollinating that with the book Beyond Weird by Philip Ball. Um, he talks about decoherence of a quantum system, which is when the superpositions and wave functions collapse because they come into contact very quickly with their surrounding environment. And this changes, or we should say spreads, the quantum system very quickly to everything around it. And um, it looks like the classical physics that we observe. And so my take on it is that when we put ourselves in a state of non-doing, which the I Ching talks about a lot, we give ourselves um, sort of space to leave some of those quantum sy systems intact. Um, or at the very least, we remove ourselves from the tendency to quickly interact with the world around us in our habituated and um, consistent patterns. Um, those patterns which put us in a constant state of um, reaction and um, sort of autopilot um, and so taking a step back and allowing that people situations um, and our lives really have a lot more possibilities than we recognize um, the longer we can stay in that state that is not particularly goal oriented or um, like driving towards specific outcomes, then we stay open to letting ourselves become entangled with different influences. Of course, by the time we they reach us, they are not in a quantum state, but um, just the act of pulling back and remaining somewhat neutral and waiting and watching giving things more time, space, slowing down. Um, I'm positing is um, makes possible um, more influences um, in the sense that we're always influenced um, by things that come from outside of us. It, it allows for newer influences from different um, origins to reach us, um, let us let our lives go in different directions than they might when we are on autopilot. And of course, it gives us more opportunity to choose which ones we become more deeply entangled with and um, allows us to um, observe basically allows us to to let um, new outcomes come to us um, because we're more open to seeing them thanks <laughs>